Welcome to Local Marketing Cash Machine. In this video, I'm going to outline the formula for success for getting local business owners to pay you lots of cash again and again. Let's start by talking about what local marketing actually is. You may have heard this term being used um, through emails that you received, websites you visit. Uh, local marketing is essentially the concept of selling services to local businesses. Now I'm talking about the pizza parlor that you go to to get to a nice pizza or perhaps the furniture store where you just bought a couch. I'm talking about local businesses. Now, a few things to say about local businesses. When I'm talking about selling services to local businesses, it does not need to be local to where you are. It, it is very possible to live on one side of the country and service the other side because it can all be done online. So please keep that in mind when I use the term local. Also, it doesn't need to be done in person. Uh, it, it, most of the work can be done through email or picking up the phone or even something like Skype. So don't let that scare you. Uh, this is the most important thing. It does not need to be done by you. If you don't know anything about SEO, you don't know anything about setting up Facebook, no problem uh, because local marketing, you can just pay someone else to do it for you. Uh, the, the concept that I'm teaching here involves going out, finding the business that wants to pay you the money and then paying someone else to do the work for you and then you keep the difference and there's a there's a real nice profit left over for you so let's go ahead and, and talk about why this works I, I'm guessing that a lot of you have have done a lot of work with affiliate marketing where you promote products for for a company for something and you're left every time you get a sale maybe you make ten dollars maybe you make two dollars maybe you make fifty dollars but local marketing is is a much higher scale uh, even though you may see less sales you're gonna make a lot more per sale you have to keep in mind businesses are used to spending thousands of dollars per month on advertising thousands of dollars so when you approach them uh, and and if you're able to offer them something that sounds appealing to them they won't have a problem paying you a thousand dollars a month uh, that's quite a bit different than a seven dollar commission that you get an affiliate product so keep in mind you you'll be able to get um, you'll be able to make less sales but make a lot more money you can step in and offer them fantastic services that will be much better than advertising the newspaper uh, there's so many businesses that you know for a while the newspapers worked great the phone books worked great and and that bring uh, bring about a huge return for businesses however the times have changed and now business owners are frustrated they're spending thousands of dollars to market themselves and they're not getting results I understand that when it, when it comes to purchasing something you yourself may be very hesitant to spend a thousand dollars but a business owner spends things like this all the time all you need to do is show them how beneficial it will be for them to to hire you so let's talk about the formula. Step one is all about finding the prospects. Who are you going to sell to? I, I don't suggest just walking out the door and and just going into businesses. You want to have a plan of action because some businesses are going to be more likely to pay you than others. And I want you to focus on the ones that are going to be more likely to, to use your service. What I recommend you do is find services through places like the newspapers. Uh, if a business is spending money on advertising already, this means that they have a budget to spend on advertising and it's going to be easier for you to come in and be able to get their money. So if you pick up the newspaper and you see a business in there running an ad, that means that they already understand the concept that they need to spend money to get people through the, door, through the doors and they should be open to listening to you to be able to, to pay you money as well. So the newspaper is one source. Yellow Pages is another great one. If you have any of those Yellow Page books laying around in your house, you can, you can uh, I personally, I use mine to prop up uh, things uh, like a door and stuff. You can use uh, yellowpages.com, which is an online resource, which is a great way for me to be able to just look. Um, you know, I I don't live in California, but I can I can go to yellowpages.com and very easily uh, see who's running advertising in California, so I can go ahead and and call them and make a compelling case of why they should pay me money. A uh, radio is another place. If someone's running a radio ad, they're certainly spending a lot of money. And if, if you like, if you're a social kind of person, you can go to places like the local chamber of commerce meetings or uh, just places where local businesses hang out and you can interact with them and then you can start up a conversation with them about how great local marketing services online are. 
Okay, so the next thing that you're and now you're probably wondering, what in the world am I going to sell? Okay, so I find a business owner that's willing to pay me money. What what am I going to sell to them? Well, um, there's many different services you could provide to them. You could provide SEO, which stands for search engine optimization. You could provide uh, Facebook uh, social media marketing for them. You could help them manage their reputation online. Uh, there's many local marketing services. Um, what you need to do is find someone to pay to do it for you. So you can go to a place like odesk.com. Uh, think of odesk as a place sort of like eBay, but for outsourcing work. And there's a lot of hardworking people on there that would love to work for you. Uh, whenever I hire someone on odesk, I make sure to, to check that they have feedback and that they have done positive work in the past. Um, all you need to do is go on to, to odesk and, and look for people that provide SEO and then get an idea on the cost of their services. Uh, just to give you a, a base here, if I were, if you were to charge a company a thousand dollars a month for SEO, you would easily be able to cover your costs and have that service provided by outsourcing the work on Odesk for a hundred dollars a month. Now, if you are in a smaller town, it will be harder to get a business to, owner to pay you a thousand dollars a month, but. It's going to be a lot easier to get them to pay you $300 a month. And in that case, you can outsource the work for $50 a month on Odesk because there won't be as much involved work to get someone ranking in a smaller town. So again, a business owner pays you $300, you outsource it for $50, that's $250 in your pocket every single month because this is a recurring situation you're going to get yourself into. This is not a one-time thing. So, you know, the, the bigger clients, those in bigger cities are going to be willing to pay you more money. Uh, the smaller cities they're going to pay you less so keep that in mind too now okay so now you now you have it all set up you you, you see someone on odesk that that charges you know that they'll be happy to perform seo work for you for a hundred dollars a month and you and you know in your mind that, that you would be happy getting anywhere from a thousand to five hundred dollars a month from a business owner what do you do how do you get in touch with them well you can email them, which is very easy to do from the comfort of your own computer. Um, you can go to a business's websites and, and find the contact form, find their email address, and just start emailing them out. You can go to uh, a resource. If you're lucky, you can find a local business directory and just go down the list and start emailing people. You can also call people on the phone. Um, Yellow Pages are great for this. Just to start calling them up, them up. and don't be afraid. A cold calling sounds kind of scary and and it might not be for you personally i don't like doing it <laughs> but uh, but if you do like doing it, if you're comfortable talking on the phone just getting a business owner on the on the phone is, is a great way to be able to get a hold of them uh, you can also send physical mail this is a great way because uh, sometimes emails can get lost in the shuffle uh, basically it's a numbers game if you're going to send physical mail out you are going to get a better return on interested people than if you send emails out you're going to have to send more emails out to be successful so uh, in other words, if, if you send 50 physical mail out and, and get a great return on that, you might need to send four times as many emails to get, to get a great return. So keep that in mind, please. Also, you can be networking. You can go to local business meetings and just striking up a conversation. That's another way to get right in the line of sight of a business owner. So, so what do you do once you start? Once you're able to get a business owner, how in the world do you sell them on your service? Well, like like selling anything, you need to make sure that you focus on the benefits of what your service will do for that business. So, in other words, if they're already spending money in the newspapers and they're they're really uh, bummed about that, they're sad. You can talk to them about how everyone is using their computers now to find a business. I mean, I know that me personally, if I'm going to look for a new restaurant to try, I'm not going to look in the newspaper. I'm going to go to Google and type in the name of my town and then restaurant. And if the business isn't appearing on there, I'm never even going to see them. So it's going to be to their advantage to be at the top of Google. Now, the great thing is most business owners already know this, that they understand enough that the internet is, is where everything is going right now, but they don't know what to do. And, and fortunately for you, you have the solution to their problems. Uh, you're gonna what you're doing would save them money. Uh, it is not hard if, if someone makes a thousand dollar investment with you and you're able to to put a hundred dollars of that into SEO. You're gonna get them much better return than if they would have ran an ad in the newspaper. That's then that's gonna save them money. They're gonna love that if if they do. Uh, internet marketing services overall, they're gonna be able to save money on their budget over time. You can also share internet marketing statistics. If you go to Google and do a search to, to see why a business needs local marketing, just I would just type in something like local marketing statistics for businesses or SEO 
business statistics. You'll find a whole bunch of stats that you can read up on, be current, and be mentioning to them. Uh, so they're blown away with your accuracy and how much you're going to save them and how, how many people really are searching for their business online. Another thing that I like to use is that everyone else is doing it. Don't be left behind. If you're approaching, for example, a, a dentist, uh, oftentimes they compete with each other in town. And if, if their competitors do local marketing and they don't, they're going to be left behind. So you want to sell the idea that local marketing is really hot right now and they want to get in and, and, and the longer they wait to do it, the more left behind they're going to be. Once you convince the, the business owner, you will be able to collect the payment and provide the service. Now, obviously, you do not pay your outsourcer until you physically have the money. And typically, you ask for 100% of it up front. That's, that's what I, I strongly recommend. So that way, you're not out of money you're, uh, on your own pocket there. And you would go ahead and you would outsource the work wherever you want. I do recommend Odesk because then you can find someone and you can continue to use them over time as well. And then you provide the report and results to the local business, show them how much you help them, and they'll keep on paying you. Now, once you get this uh, all set up, you just rinse and repeat. Of course, it's going to take more time to get, to get through your first client, but once you do, you'll have the confidence to expand and just really open up your market and get more and more clients. If you're making $500 a month per client and you just have 10 clients, that's $5,000 a month. And of course, you would have to pay some to outsource the work, but not not very much of it. Uh, there is such a huge potential here for you. I'm, I'm so excited for you to get out there. I hope that you've enjoyed this course. Thank you so much.